I am up on my pergola roof that we've been building. Get of these polycarbonate panels. And the last piece right here requires some silicone jointage. So I've been using the uh, old school silicone, but I wanted to go and try this one out. I found this one on Amazon because silicone is super expensive. And surprise, surprise, one third of the cost and it's holding out amazingly well. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the previous silicone to this silicone. I trust this with this over winter. So stay tuned for the whole video. So we built this big um, pergola and we added these covers made of these polycarbonate panels. And then I don't want to go all the way down. I'm only going as high as this actual thing is. And then I'm going to start going that way and then we're going to do it in between. And then right in the corner we need to get silicone right over there. So, so I found these on Amazon and these are clear. And this was about half the price what you normally get at the big box stores. So if we had to give this a try, I bought four of these. Um, these come sealed here and then they give you four of these, right? So these are reusable. Um, these are already pre-cut here as well. But you could snap them on an edge if you want to. I'm not going to bother because we're not going um, by a tile edge or anything. We're just going to dump them against the brick and that joint there. So we're on the roof here. You can also see that we have these gaps here. So we're going to be putting silicone on these gaps the same way we did it here. This one is extremely expensive. It's 16 bucks a tube. Now this one's 290 mil. This one's 300 mil. Do we think that this is just as good? I think so. And since we're doing it beside it, it'll be a great comparison. This is the original. Mono Silicone Pro. Silicone. Now this is a little more transparent looking. This is like two coats. And then this one I put last night. All right, so this one's a little more wider. And seems a little more solid and here you can see here it is again so you can see it's a lot more wider and you can see it's kind of flexible you can touch it so the one thing about these tubes is that you need to go and cut this um, some of the other silicone ones you just penetrate it with like this or a screwdriver right through the tube this one you have to cut this open and then you screw the tip on there you go okay. and then you just screw the thing on now i'm not gonna screw it because i need a lot coming out at the same time. We got pretty big holes here, so we're gonna go and just fill these up. It's actually starting to rain. We'll be able to tell in real time where the leaks are from underneath this pergola. So you see, I like these big blobs, and then I'm just gonna. And what I really like about this is that it's not going in. It's actually very dense and super thick. See? It's kind of important because it would suck if I was doing this and it was just falling right through which is normally how <laughs> any adhesive operates. It's very sticky as you can see. So if you know what I know, you know that water is absolutely unforgiven when it comes to anything. So any little tiny crevice, the water will find and cause immense damage, whether it's inside the house or outside. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just putting the silicone right in between the joints and then we're going to cover this with the tarp. So you definitely want to have like a double protection, actually triple protection. Okay, you got the wood, we got the silicone on the joints and then we have the uh, water barrier on top. One tube of this filled up up to here, skip this part and then again from here all the way to the end. Uh, but of course I did very thick blobs. So am I happy with this? Absolutely. It's pretty much the same stuff. It dries on a little thicker even. More white. That See, that's more clear. That's more whitish clear. So anyways, pretty happy with this. Definitely recommend it. So I'm pretty happy with this. We're going to go and finish this off. And I'm happy to say that, uh, you know, there are alternatives on Amazon that will serve you absolutely great. You just have to uh, not get the brand names because this is not a brand name, right? You're paying really like 30, 40% usually for the brand if it's well known. So anyways, that's the video. Thanks for watching.